Hey everybody, it's time. Time for us to invade subspace. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the Subspace Emissary. I'm PwnShop135. In the last episode, big, big developments. So not only did we find out that Ganon was behind the subspace in invasion as well as the subspace invade uh, subspace bombings we also found out that the ancient minister was rob who joined us in our cause when ganon sacrificed his fellow brethren to blow up the subspace factory trying to take us all out at the very end of the episode all of the heroes thus far have met up and are ready to go into subspace. And that's exactly what we'll do. We'll, we're going to stage a reverse invasion where we invade the invaders. Ironic, right? So let's go ahead and start. All right, we have a pool of people to choose from. So, choose carefully. My recommendation, go for characters that you're comfortable with. By this point in the game, everybody that you have played as has been unlocked in um, versus mode. So that would give you a chance to go in, try them out, see who you like, who you don't like, you know, do whatever. One recommendation I will make, make sure you take Kirby, because Kirby is your best flight, is flight the, he, he's the one that gets the best air. So I'm going to pick Captain Falcon and Ike, because they're my mains. Um, hmm. like I said, Kirby. Uh, Kirby, Fox, or Falco. I don't know why I just jumped to Kirby, but either one of those three would be great. Uh, you know what? Oh, I didn't want Pikachu. I want Barrio, but okay. All right, we'll 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 deal with the hand that's dealt. All right. I do like that cutscene where they um. Where they take out Ganon's uh, flagship. 
Especially Kirby coming out of nowhere with that Dragoon. Uh, also, just... Also, uh, just, like, all the ships that you had, you had the, the Dragoon, the Halberd, um, Samus's ship, an R-Wing, uh, the Blue Falcon, you had all those ships, and then you had Olimar and his dinky little ship that falls apart. to lose Captain Falcon here in a bit. If you're if you're good with it, you can catch this Aramank um, as it falls and do some um, extra damage or some free damage. Yep, there we go. We lost Captain Falcon. The Falcon has flown the coop. That's alright, we still got my boy Ike. If Ike can ever get to reach that claw... Get out of here. That heart should have gone to Captain Falcon. Oh crap, not a Creeper. I said Creeper, not... Oh, it's just grief. Got him! Haha! <laughs> Yeah, we're about to lose Ike again. Taboo.
All right. So, that's it. Everybody's been trophyized. Can't do anything with the mat, uh, with the stickers. Can't go back into any other level. And that's where we're going to end it. Now, on to Fighter of the Day. Two hammers are better than one with Ice Climber! Ice Climber's neutral special is Ice Shot. Does one to three damage. And they send projectiles. Um, yeah, once an opponent gets high enough, it has the potential of freezing. Uh, they can throw it from the air as well as on the ground. Which is pretty cool. Uh, their side special is Squall Hammer. Does 2 to 3 damage, percent damage on a loop. It's... It's a pretty good um, spin attack. I'd say um, it's just shy of rocks. Their up special is Belay. Basically, um, they'll throw one of them, uh, one of themselves up there, and the other follows. It's kind of like a tandem jump, or not a tandem jump, a, uh, a slingshot type jump. But it does 16% damage when. Uh, when it hits. Um, it does, however, well, it loses its effectiveness if it's just one ice climb. Their down special is Blizzard. Does one to one to two percent damage. It's kind of like a um, it's kind of like Charizard's Fire Breath, except for not as long and it has the. Uh, well, that's embarrassing. Anyway, it has the added bonus of freezing. Even if it's just a temporary freezing. Ice Climber's final smash is Iceberg. They summon a giant ice ice block in the middle. Uh, does 2% damage when hit, 5% damage when frozen. Basically, it's um, as long as they're touching it. Um, has a high chance of freezing as well as um, it, it can push the opponent off. So, uh, yeah. Ice Climber's main strategy is um, two is better than one, if I were to name it. Because uh, they do their best work when they're in tandem. Though you have direct control over Popo, or Nana, depending on the, the match. Um, you have more damage, um, more hits on all of the, the specials. You know, if you just have, uh, if you have both of them with you. In fact, let me demonstrate. Okay. But yeah, um, again, when you have both of them, you're gravy, but when you have one of them, it's pretty much desperation mode. Because Belay only gives you a slight, slight reach in the air. Like a, just a little hop. Otherwise, you know, Popo is pretty much, um, pretty much doomed. Um, but of course, if Popo goes before Nana, or whoever's in the lead goes before the other, then both Ice Climbers are donezo. So the best strategy I can give you is hang on to Popo, uh, hang on to Nana and Popo as long as you can. 